How you doing everyone? Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, race packs, what to pack into them. So I'm going to use uh, the UTMB races as an example of things that you need for your kit list. So before we start, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification tab. Okay, let's get started. So big day kit list. Um, various different race packs out there. I won't go into um, specifics about each individual pack. And today I'm wearing uh, an Ultimate Direction mounting vest. And this is the kind of gear you're going to need um, to have um, for when you go running a UTMB race. Um, so you have various different races and I'll list them down the side here. So this is the pack. So you have a good look around. So probably the most noticeable thing straight away are poles. You may not be used to running with poles, but you're, you're going to want to use poles, definitely. All the Euros wear them, um, use them for when they're run, running the races, and you're going to want them too. So get a pair, make sure they're collapsible, pack down really small, test them with your vest, and practice with them. Make sure you know how you're using them. So the poles basically fit on the side here. There we go, that's as easy as that was. I've now got a pole. So loads of different poles out there. This one's a lackey. Um, nice and collapsible. Um, as I say, get used to how you use them. But the poles, pop them down there. Uh, you can get them to the pack at the back. You can have them at the, the top here, different vests. I like them when they're at the front, just like this. They're very quick and easy, and very accessible. Here we go, I've got it already. And you just put it back in the same way. So you get your poles. Basically, you want to have everything that you're going to need at the front. Uh, the stuff at the back here is stuff you have to carry, uh, that you should carry, because you're going to be high altitude, it's going to be cold. Um, at points, it could be wet, it could be all sorts, you need to carry a leather kit. That stuff goes in the back. Stuff that you think you're going to need as you're going and moving, have at the front. So, this pack, it's got two soft flasks at the front, one and two. Uh, they both hold 500ml of water. Uh, you'll also want to use um, some sort of mountain fuel, Morton, tailwind, that sort of stuff inside there, just to give you an extra boost. So you've got two 500ml soft flasks, nice and easy, easy to use. Good thing about soft flasks is <clears throat> you can see uh, when they're running low. Uh, with a bladder at the back, it's hard to tell if it's half empty, half full, if you need to refill it, uh, you've got to stop, take your vest off to refill it. With soft flasks, just take it out, undo the top, fill it up, and put it back in again. So super quick and easy. So I prefer soft flasks. Uh, what else we got? Food, you're gonna eat a lot. Uh, and start eating right from the start. Um, don't wait until it's too late. So food, uh, I've not got the right food with me, so I've just shoved in any old bits and bobs. I've got a couple of gels here. Um, some bars, so easily fits in the front, so you're going to want to have loads of food at the front as well. Uh, this side, I uh, have space for more food, so you can put more in there. These little pockets, you can fit absolutely loads of stuff in there, it's a nice stretchy material and it really comes out the way. Uh, phone, you're going to want your phone, you need to carry a phone. Um, for, it's on the kit list, you have to take your phone. What are you going to use your phone for? Stopping, and it's important that you stop, take some pictures, so you've got some memories. So, phone at the front as well. Uh, other things I've got here, so what's in this pocket? Ah, more food. As I said, you're going to eat lots of food. These sort of things are really good. Uh, obviously just been Easter, and I've got some lint balls, which are delicious. 
But that sort of thing, they'll often buy a box of roses, a quality street, something like that. Small individual chocolates. Uh, you can just unwrap them and eat them. A little burst of energy for you. So more food. Uh, sounds a bit random, uh, but packet mints uh, just helps refresh in your mouth as well if you're out, you're out uh, for a long time in these sort of races. Um, so packet mints is always handy. More things at the front. What you're going to need at the front, you might get cold hands, so I've got a set of gloves. So you know what a glove looks like, but set of gloves, have those easily accessible at the front. Uh, what else have I got? I've got more food, more gels, but it doesn't have to be gels, it can be gels, it can be whatever you like to eat. Practice with what you like to eat and uh, have it accessible. Uh, this next bit, it's one of my favourite bits, is a collapsible mug. And you can get really tiny, like that takes up no room at all, absolutely no room, weighs nothing at all, fits in the front pocket. But on this one, it's called an X mug. And it, it's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than lots of mugs you see out there. You get these little flimsy ones uh, that come free with some of these sort of packs. Uh, you can't put anything hot in there. You can't put, you can just put a little bit of liquid. The rubbish. Uh, get something more substantial. That collapses down to nothing at all. You can put, uh, if you stop in somewhere, you can get, often I'll fill that with Coke, um, put that down my neck. And then when I've, I've drank the Coke, I'll fill it with food, um, just grazing off the tables they have. There are loads of food, loads of really nice food. Um, fill it with food and then you start wandering off and you've got a little bowl. So you can just keep eating with your mug. Once you've finished, pack it away, back in the pocket. Really good. Uh, okay, it might start raining. So I can get, that's how, how much room these pockets fit. I've got all of the, that in these pockets. And there we go, there's my waterproof jacket. So, waterproof jacket, um, accessible as well. Depends on what the weather's gonna be like. So if it's gonna be forecast hot and sunny, then that's gonna be in the back. Uh, if it's not hot and sunny, uh, it looks as if it's gonna be a bit rubbish to start with, um, have your jacket accessible. It's just you judging what the weather's going to be like as well. So that's a waterproof jacket. That's a bit of an example that you can fit a lot of gear in these pockets here. Uh, so that's me done the front pockets. I've got quite a lot of gear out of there. Also got side pockets. So I can't remember what pocket in here. Another field. Okay. So drink mix. So that's some modern drink mix. Um, so that's a powder mix which I'll add to my soft flasks as I'm going along. So as you go along you're going to go to different aid stations, you're going to get water. Um, I like to have water in one flask and a drink mix in another flask. So I'm going to have a couple of these in here, so that'll keep me going for a while. Another side pocket just on this side. And so that. Okay, I think I know what's coming here. In this one, what we have, oops, which one flying out the side. Waterproof over mitts. So in case it's raining, I'll have my gloves on and then I'll put on this Gore-Tex over mitt. Um, bomb proof, works really well. That's the best combination, line a glove with a waterproof over mitt. Uh, what went flying out was a uh, toilet roll. So that toilet roll inside there as well in a couple of bags. That is me done for the front and sides. So let's have a look and well before we look in the back there are the things you will be using but you're probably going to be wearing. Um, sunglasses so make sure you've got some sunglasses with you and have a buff I definitely have a buff on my wrist like that, just to wipe the sweat off. Um, depending on the weather as well, if it's hot and sunny, I'm going to have it on my head there with my sunglasses. If I don't have that there, but I'm wearing sunglasses, sweat's going to drip into the sunglasses 
and makes it hard to see. So that stops the sweat dropping, dripping into these sunglasses. Sun hat, uh, make sure you've got sun hat, you have to have it, again it's a kit list. Uh, best type for out there, it can be blisteringly hot out there. Sun can be relentless, uh, no shade, so a Sahara type hat. May look a bit weird, but that's going to save a lot of issues if the sun's blazing down. And a windshell as well. You're probably going to be wearing your windshell at the start. Um, you've probably been hanging about for a while, well you will have been. You're going to be stood in the pen for a while, it's going to be a bit chilly because it's early in the morning. You're going to be wearing a windshell. Let's have a look at the back. So the back is the stuff that you need to carry. It's on the kit list again. But you shouldn't need initially. So the best thing to do is have a dry bag. You get different types and sizes of dry bags. Uh, this one, I've used four litre ones, been absolutely fine. Uh, that one, I've put my stuff in here, is see some eight litre bag. Which sounds a bit excessive, but better having a spare room and being able to pack it down than really squeezing and getting, trying to put everything in there and not having enough room to actually do it up properly. So four litre bag should do, or it does do, but an 80 litre bag also does as well. So you're going to need, you're going to need a head torch. Um, so make sure you've got a good powerful head torch and with the head torch you're going to need a spare battery as well. So depending on what type of head torch you got, you might have AAA batteries, AA batteries, this is a rechargeable one. So head torch. Uh, for this one here I have grabbed an insulated, very packable insulated jacket. Again, when you go higher up, if the weather's bad, it's gonna get cold. And most of us out there, we're not gonna be at the sharp end of the race. So we're gonna be traveling a lot slower, you're gonna get colder. So to have an insulated piece with you is, is a good idea. You don't have to take that. You can take it, you're bare minimum you can get away with um, long sleeve, sleeve base layer, which you'll still need as well. But realistically, just safety wise, I'd rather take uh, an insulated piece as well. So here is a uh, long sleeve um, spare base layer. Uh, this one's a merino. Um, nice and comfy, packs down super small, but it does have an element of warmth to it. You can't just take the skinniest, lightest um, long sleeve top. It is quite specified on the kit list as to what you can take and the weight of it. So make sure you look at the kit list properly and get your gear accordingly. Okay, so other stuff I've got in here. Um, I've got a spare pair of gloves. Um, you never know, uh, maybe you've had your other gloves on, you haven't put your over mitt on soon enough, it's got wet, it's not keeping you warm. Um, having a spare set is not a bad idea. Okay. <clears throat> hat. Make sure you've got a hat. Uh, again, high up, it's going to be cold. Might be cold from the start, you never know. Uh, more food, have some spare food in your bag as well. We've got uh, waterproof over um, on the kit. Most things here are on the kit, list, almost everything. Um, waterproof over trousers, you're going to need those. Uh, make sure you get some that have got a zip at least up partially up the leg so you can get them on and off over your shoes and you don't have to take your shoes off um, to put them on. Got a spare buff. Uh, buffs are great. Um, you can have one on your wrist, one on your head, one on your neck, all sorts. Uh, what have we got here? Body Glide. Uh, body Glide, which uh, helps stop any chaffing. So, you, there's loads of different types of things out there. That's small, compact, and usable. Uh, bivy bag. So, I've got survival. Um, oh, it's 
basically like a space space bag. So I don't think you can take just a, a blanket, um, emergency blanket. It's going to be a bag. So you can get them, pack down, and weigh nothing at all. And also first aid kit. First aid kit. It's quite specified. <clears throat> on the kit list as to what you have to take in your first aid kit. So that's in a little hard case and I can fit loads of gear in here. So I won't go through exactly what's in here but I'll point out a couple of bits. Um, spare head torch. Uh, yep, that is a spare head torch. It's tiny, weighs nothing at all. Hopefully I'm not going to need it because I've already got a torch. Uh, I've got a spare battery also have that as well though, it's, uh, that one's 50 lumens, it's more of an emergency one, it takes up no room, I've got a spare battery for that as well. <clears throat> uh, what else have we got? Uh, some Boots Microporous uh, tape, basically bits of tape, make sure you tape your nipples, if you don't you're going to have big red patches and you're going to be screaming in the shower. Uh, Compede, uh, batteries, plasters, um, bandage, self-adhesive bandage, um, which again is on the kit list, scissors, I've got some meds in there. Uh, you shouldn't take things like um, ibuprofen, but certainly um, having a couple of paracetamol with you and some Imodium, Diarolite, um, that sort of stuff, just to settle any stomach issues. Better to have it, not need it than to need it and not have it. Okay, so that was pretty much what you're going to need um, for running one of the UTMB races. And you can take that kind of info <clears throat> and use what you think you're going to need just for a standard hill day out as well. So various different races will have different um, kit lists. That's quite an extensive one, but you can fit all of that and you could have fit more in the heel as well. A uh, couple of features more on this bag. You've got an internal zipper pocket here as well. You can fit a bladder inside as well. There was one year at the CCC and it was uh, scorching hot and the day before they announced you needed to carry uh, more liquid. So in that occasion, like having two 500ml soft flasks, which are obviously a litre, if you needed to carry any more, you would have been able to put a bladder in the back here and you would have been okay. I took a litre and a half that year when they said you needed to take more. It wasn't enough. I ran out of liquid, I had a shocker. Um, so if it's like 35 degrees and they say take more than a litre, take two litres. I know it weighs more, but you're going to drink it. Okay. Well, thanks for listening. Uh, I'll pack this um, in a certain way so you can see exactly what we've taken out of the bag. And I'll put a list of the items down the side here as well. Okay. Thanks for watching again and see you next week.